Welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Abby. I'm here with Chris from Edmodo. Chris, thank you so much for joining me. Can you tell me a little bit about Edmodo? Sure. Edmodo is the world's largest social learning platform for students in K-12. through Can you tell me a little bit about your architecture on AWS? So it starts when users send us traffic to our web application. <clears throat> and this is running on a fleet of instances comprised generally entirely of spot instances. But if we need to, we can also switch at any time over to on-demand instances. So that's something that I don't always hear that much about, right, is the spot fleet and the on-demand fleet. Can you tell me a little bit about how you're using spot and on-demand to, to optimize your costs? So we're generally just running entirely spot instances, but those can go away. And so we watch for that by having another machine that monitors the pricing data <clears throat> and then makes decisions. And if there's a problem and we're going to start losing instances, it sends a signal to the on-demand auto-scaling group and tells it to create on-demand instances to replace those spot instances. So I can pull constantly for price changes, and I can prefer to use my spot instances. But if not, I can fall back to on-demand. And I know that with the spot instances, instances there's a trade-off, right? So I get maybe two to four minutes before I might have to replace my instance. Have you guys done anything to kind of account for those, for those changes? Yeah. So the first thing we really had to do was just start focusing in, learning, understanding how long does it take us to create an instance, and what, what parts of that time are spent on what steps. What was the breakdown? So how have you changed how you've architected your, your services to make them spin up as fast as possible? So the biggest thing we do is everything is deployed inside of Docker containers. And Docker has a caching based on its layer system. And It'll break the cache at a certain point, and every layer after that has to be discarded. And so what we do is make sure that as much as possible is in those really stable first layers. So basically, you're thinking about your Docker containers, and you're trying to make them as small as possible. So to summarize for the Docker containers, you want the fewest layers as possible, the smallest number of layers, and you want to prevent breaking the cache as long as possible. Right. And so what we do is we cache all of those layers onto the AMI we use to create the instances. And the stable layers will remain stable and unbroken. And so then when we start up a new instance, we don't have to pull those layers down at all from the registry and instead just pull those last few layers that have changed. I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of optimizing that can go into working with the Docker layers and working with the containers and working with the spot instances. How, how fast in general can your services start up once you made all those changes to, to account for the spot fleet? It's almost always now for our main services less than four minutes. And before you moved to doing kind of containers to account for the spot fleet, about how long did it take your services to, to start up? Some of our larger important ones could be up to 15 minutes. <laughs> that's, a pretty, that's a pretty big change, right? To go from 15 minutes to less than four minutes. So it sounds like you've done a lot of optimizing. What was kind of your, your, your reasoning behind switching your stuff over to, to spot in the first place? Well, like you mentioned before, what we really want to do is optimize our costs. It's been a large cost savings, and we've seen our overall compute drop by 75% or so in terms of costs. Wow, so, so definitely, so definitely a, lot of, a lot of optimizing going on there. When, you, when you've been kind of working with these, with these containers, like how, how many services are you running? So how big are these fleets? Like how, how often are you running your deployments? Well, we frequently deploy at least once a day, and we have several different fleets that we ultimately use in terms of Container size, some of them are up to a couple of gig in size. And in terms of fleet size, this main fleet can be up to 200 instances or so. So you're using the spot instances, falling back to the on-demand, and then you're, to, to keep up with your deployments, you're making your containers as small as possible so that you can deploy them as, as quickly as you possibly can. Right, and to make sure that time to service is really low so that when we do have to swap from the spots to the on-demand instances, we can do it as quickly as possible so there's a seamless transition and no downtime or issues observed by the users. Well, that's always, that's always really important. No one wants downtime. Um, Chris, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching. This is my architecture.